band, what excites you the most about Singularity Zao? Well, I, I, I think when we first started Singularity Dao, you know, we had a, we had a lot we had a lot of big ideas just applying AI in in the DeFi space generally, both to uplift the intelligence of, of, of crypto markets and to make make it easier for high high quality projects with with with, with new tokens to, to, to grow and the the main mechanism that. We cooked up to do this was uh, what we call Dynasets, right? Which are these d dynamically weighted token sets. And so, you know, Singdao did a bunch of, of cool things that weren't even on my mind when we when we <laughs> first first founded it. We did the la la launch pad, which is, which is amazing. A bunch of interesting staking things, but yeah. is very very exciting to me to see the first Dynasets launch and even even doing reasonably well in uh, in questionable wow. times for the overall for the overall market right yeah. and so i think i think it's it's just the beginning of course we've got a whole bunch of other data sets cooking up in, in in the research lab and you know more and more sophisticated ai algorithms are going to be underlying the the future data set versions but yeah. just just seeing the first data sets out there is is really exciting because I mean I mean that, that that that's the beginning of a lot of things to come. Yeah, and uh, and we did it in in less than six months. I mean I'm I'm super proud of the achievement of the team of having worked so hard to put together like such a high uh, talented team that is yeah. working at Singularity Dow now. And um, I I'm, I'm I'm very excited about giving the opportunity to people to actually access complex financial tools. So before yeah. that, if you wanted to use any sort of AI. You either had to run your own hedge funds, or or be an AI developer, or be an ultra high net worth individual or accredited individual to invest in a hedge fund. Now with Singularity DAO, anybody can access this kind of tools yeah. in a democratic way, right? Yeah, it's been, and as you know, it's it's been an interesting adventure on the sort of AI meets quant <laughs> yeah. finance meets decentralized network side, and the. Those of us who did a lot of work on AI in traditional financial markets, the first instinct is take whatever worked in traditional finance right. and just port it to crypto markets, and then then, then you find that it's not that things bad. are a little bit different in yeah. crypto markets. I mean, we knew that starting out, but we it's been an ongoing ongoing learning experience, and the nature of the data is different, the dynamics of the market is different, and the way that the ways that AI ends up being most useful, they're related, but not quite the same in the token markets as they are, they are in traditional finance. And I think we've gone through a few learning cycles there. It's, it's been quite interesting. And we can, we can then use the resu results of this learning yeah. to offer all sorts of interesting tools and, and products and, and, and financial instruments to every, every, everyone in, in, in the crypto market, right? And it, yeah. yeah, as you say, in traditional finance, I mean, the, the average individual just has to go into like, a, you know, Vanguard fund or something. Right. Yeah. And the, the advanced AI is for, you know, the, the Rentex or the Cerebellum Capitals of the right. world. So these are really only for people who can afford to buy in to a few elite yeah. AI driven hedge funds, right? Make and then, the richer riches. Right, right, right. And yeah. and in, in the crypto world, we can do things a little differently. We can bring AI that's in many ways more advanced than what the Rentex and Cerebellums are doing, right? We can bring AI that's in a way more advanced and we can put it behind products like Dynasets that are accessible to to everybody and then we can put it behind a wider and wider variety of, of, of products as time goes on. Yeah. Yeah, and um, we definitely have, I mean, as you said, during 2022, we're going to be releasing more Dynasets. We're going to scale up our trading team. We're going to empower them with more AI tools, but we have a very rich AI roadmap, including price prediction and natural language processing, reinforcement learning. Uh, what, what are you most excited about? Well, so as you say, well, we've, we've come a long way and we've launched some amazing right. stuff. We're still at the the early stages of the of, of, of the journey, right? So, I'm, so I mean, we we have some interesting machine learning for prediction going on now. I think uh, an important next step is to move from a ML machine learning approach to a 
a reinforcement learning approach where the AI itself is modeling the impact that the AI has on the market. And we're doing a little bit of that now, right. but we need to get more sophisticated in terms of the AI modeling its own market impact, which is very important, especially for lower liquidity altcoins. And it, this is done with reinforcement learning and you need sophisticated market simulations to pre-train the reinforcement learning algorithm and then you do final training on the actual markets. Then once, once you've gone from ML to RL, then we get to what's really interesting to me as an AI guy, you go beyond pure reinforcement learning to a neural symbolic reinforcement right. learning. And so that the rules that our own traders and our own market professionals use are symbolic knowledge that can be fed into a reasoning system. They can then integrate the wisdom of the traders with what the AI reinforcement learning figures out. And so once, once we're on to neural symbolic reinforcement learning in crypto markets, I mean, we're actually way beyond what the most sophisticated quantitative hedge funds are doing in, right. in traditional markets. And it really is about turning the global crypto market in, in, into a sort of intelligent crypto finance global brand, right? And right. this is what you what you really want. I mean, you want the, the token markets to be literally thinking about which projects are, are, are going to succeed and which ones are are dependent on the same factors and which ones are in, in a give and take relationship, yeah. right? And so I think there's a long way to go, but we have a pretty clear AI roadmap for getting yeah. there. And uh, I mean, we have, we have a great team that's actually actually capable of, of, yeah. of doing all this. A team that we actually is actually expanding, right? So we've got new yeah. talent in. Um, Anton is joining us back, which is a great, um, yeah, great news for the team. So, uh, so things are really looking good. I mean, already like our Dyna sets are, are beating institutional funds that have billions under asset management like Grayscale and Vanek. So, you know, these results are incredible. And, and, and these funds, they, you know, they've been trading for, 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 for years on, on crypto markets using cutting edge technology, but still we're, out, we're outperforming them with the current basic technology that we have. So imagine when our traders can actually apply leverage and short the market. Uh, imagine when we actually going to implement reinforcement learning and, and we're going to empower yeah. them with actual tools, what we can actually achieve. There's so, also a, there's a subtler aspect here regarding the integration of SingDAO with the Singularity Net decentralized networking community. Because when you, yeah. when you look at these funds that have been around a few years, probably what they were doing was cutting edge a few years back. Right. But the markets evolved quickly and what gave you yeah. a huge edge in 2018, they give you only a modest edge now. Now what we're doing is new shiny and cutting edge, it's better than what they were doing. Now, how do we stop what we're doing from being stale in 2025? Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, one approach is our team is just great and we have all sorts of advanced AI technology. We have OpenCog Hyperon from SingularityNet we can pull in. But another aspect is we have the whole SingularityNet decentralized AI marketplace and AI AI community yeah. we have we have API based systems that can can plug in AIs written by third parties acting acting on in, encrypted data so going forward we'll have not only the creativity of the SingDAO team not only the creativity of the singularity net foundation and open cloud teams but we'll have the creativity of the whole singularity net community yeah. and the developer community creating AI tools that can can plug in and, and, and can can help power Singdao's products. And I mean this is this is how we can you know we have like triple protection against going stale a, a few year, a few years from now. So I think that the next few steps are gonna be driven by Singdao's quant finance team working together with Singularity Net's AI team. Yeah. And then beyond that, the steps beyond there will be driven by the whole yeah. SingDAO and, and SingNet community contributing their own quant finance ideas, their own AI ideas, and you know using using financial indicators and using fintech tooling that, that SingDAO provides to them to make their work easier. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're already working with the Singularity Net team, uh, with part of the Singularity Net team specifically on GPU farms, right? Yeah. So that for, for price prediction. So that's that's a lot going on. And uh, thank a you. Lot, it's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. super excited. Yeah. And so we've only touched on a fraction a fraction yeah, yeah, of yeah, it, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we haven't gone into say sentiment analysis, yes. which is one of the things we found to be 
most impactful in driving the price of, of crypto assets. Now, even with relatively simple sentiment right. analysis, you're, you're able to add a large edge to prediction. Right. But when we when we bring transformer neural nets and then symbolic reasoning to help with a semantic analysis of the transformer neural nets, we get subtler and subtler sentiment analysis. Yeah. I mean, based on Twitter, based on Discord, exactly. based on Telegram, based on whatever everyone mm -hmm. is, is discussing rega regarding regarding all, all, the, all these coins that we're predicting. And this this is an added aspect because you're not just looking at the time series. Your, your AI, your AI is really sucking out like. What are people saying? What are people feeling? And and and, and turn and, them into predictions. And and, 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 and and why? And turn these into predictions of price and predictions to the market's reaction to our our own trading actions. Yeah. Right. So there's this is one of the pieces that excites me most because you're you're really like getting into the into the minds the minds of the of the community, right? Yeah. And yeah. and that's uh, and you're getting into the minds of the community. Not to do anything. No, not to suck up data. The, 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 the ferry yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. you're doing. You're getting into the minds of the community to help make the markets more efficient and yes. more productive to help everybody's project grow. Exactly. Exactly. Again, democratizing access and and and, and spread wealth rather than sucking up wealth by centralized entities. I mean, that's that's our core mission. Yeah. So expanding theme. A lot of news. A very juicy roadmap for 2022. More Dyna sets, more projects on the launch pads. Um, I'm very excited, man. Thank you so All much right. for, for, for your contribution so far. I hope you've enjoyed the ride with Singularity DAO up until it, it, this point. It, 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 it's, it's, it's been good fun, and yeah. it, it's really exciting to see the first exactly. Dyna <laughs> sets uh, out there because the, the first steps are always the hardest to take, right? Like yeah. once, you, once you've got a real product out there, then adding more and more features and making better and better. I mean, it's it's hard work, mm -hmm. but nothing is quite as zero as getting that first <laughs> yeah, yeah. product version yeah. out, right? Yeah, so. the team the team was stressed in December when we launched so many products yeah. at the same yeah. time. Yeah. But also like seeing Singularity DAO as the first spin-off of Singularity Land, right? It's quite yeah. exciting. I mean, the first uh, child. Uh, take it his own way uh, from from Sequinality Net and growing. We got a lot of first, team, a lot of first going on. That, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When we yeah. started talking about it in the summer of 2020, right? Yeah. 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 Up until now, it's been a very interesting journey. So yeah, thank you, you so much you, for you the did, opportunity. You didn't, you didn't believe me when I told you you, no. you, you were going to turn into a, a crypto <laughs> finance guru, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then but, eventually uh, it happened. Oh, it's yeah. been a, 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 a year of time, and there's. Yeah, There's the, definitely been <laughs> exponential progress in, in your crypto Thank finance you. wizardry along with Thank along you. with the project. Right? Yeah, no, I felt I grown I grown up a lot thanks to this project. So thank you so much for the opportunity to lead it, and uh, yeah, I think it's paying off well. I mean, it's it's, it's going well. great so far. I mean, we're we're just a percent of the way to where we we need to yeah, be, exactly. but the first steps are the hardest ones. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you, Ben. Thank you.